Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 2 to the power of t plus 4 to the power of t plus 8 to the power of t this is equal to 39. So what is the value of t given that t is a member of real numbers and that t is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. Now we have 2 to the power of t plus we can express 4 to the power of t as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of t, then plus 8 to the power of t, this can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of t, this is equal to 39. The next step is that 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of t, and 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of t, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power n. So applying this exponent property from here, so this implies we have 2 to the power of t plus 2 to the power of t raised to the power 2, then plus 2 to the power of t raised to the power 3, this is equal to 39. The next step is that we can let 2 to the power of t be equal to u. Substituting u with 2 to the power of t, this becomes u plus u squared, then plus, here we have u to the power of 3, this is equal to 39. So we can rearrange this equation as u to the power of 3 plus u squared plus u, this is equal to 39. So this is a cubic function or a polynomial of degree 3. So this implies that let's take that 9 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then plus u subtract that 9 this is equal to 0. The next step from here we have u to the power of 3 plus u squared plus u subtract that 9 we can express that 9 as 27 plus 9 and then plus 3 this is equal to 0 so this implies that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then plus u subtract 27 which we can express as 3 to the power of 3 then minus times plus 9, this becomes minus 9, which is 3 to the power of 2. Then minus times plus 3, this becomes minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3. So we can combine this, so u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of 2, so this implies we have u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2, then plus u minus 3, so you have u minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have three parts here, the first part here, this is the difference of two cubes, which you can express as a cubed minus b cubed, the second part here is the difference of two squares, express as a squared minus b squared. So from the first part here, a to power 3 minus b to power 3, this can be expressed as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this implies that u to power 3 minus 3 to power 3, this can be expressed as u minus 3 then u squared plus 3u then plus 3 squared which is equal to 9 let's call this equation 1 now the second part here is the difference of two perfect squares which is a squared minus b squared so we have a squared minus b squared which you can express as a plus b a minus b so therefore we have u squared minus 3 squared 
which we can express as u plus 3 and also u minus 3. Let's call this equation 2. Now, from equation 1, which is u minus 3, then u squared plus 3u plus 9, close the parentheses, then plus u plus 3, then we have u minus 3, then plus we have u minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have that u minus 3, u minus 3 and u minus 3 is common here. We can factor out u minus 3 so that into the parentheses we have u squared plus 3u plus 9 then plus u plus 3 then here plus 1 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 3. This is equal to 0. The second part here is u squared plus 3u plus u. So this is 4u then plus 9 plus 3. This is 12 plus 1. This is 13. This is equal to 0. So from the first part here, we have that u1 is equal to 3. This is a real solution from here. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 4, and c equal to 13. So let's assess the nature of this quadratic equation such that we have discriminant value which is b squared minus 4ac. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here. So the discriminant value is equal to 4 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 13. So this implies here we have 16 minus 13 times 4, this is equal to 52. So this is equal to minus 36, which is less than 0. So this implies that here we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions. And given that from the conditions, from the equation condition here, T is a member of real numbers. So this implies that this quadratic equation will not give us a real solution. So there is no real solution from this part. So this implies that the quadratic part is rejected. So now we have that u1 is equal to 3. Now, the next step is that if you recall, we instead let t to power, that is 2 to power t, this is equal to u. So we have 2 to the power of t, this is equal to 3. To solve for t here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. We have rog 2 to the power of t, this is equal to rog 3. So rog 2 to the power of t, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog rog a. Applying this logarithm property, the power root property, then rog 2 to the power of t becomes t rog 2. This is equal to rog 3. So let's divide both sides by rog 2 and also here by rog 2. So if you simplify here, we have that t is equal to rog 3 over rog 2. Now we have that rog 3 over rog 2. This is in the form of rog A over rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. So let's apply this rog property from here, so that T 
is equal to log 3 to base 2. So this is the value of t. The next step is to verify that this value of t satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that t equal to log 3 to base 2 satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 2 to the power of t plus 4 to the power of t then plus 8 to the power of t. This is supposed to give us a value of 39. So let's substitute the value of t from here. So we have 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2 then plus 4 which you can express as 2 to the power of 2 raised to power log 3 to base 2 then plus 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3 raised to power log 3 to base 2 this should give us a value of 39 so from here we have 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2 then plus now 2 to the power of 2 log 3 to base 2 this is the same thing as 2 to power 2 log 3 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of 3 log 3 to base 2 this should give us a value of 39 now 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2 2 to the power of 2 log 3 to base 2 and 2 to the power of 3 log 3 to base 2 this is in the form of a to the power of log b to base a and this essentially is equal to b so let's apply this logarithm property from here so this implies that 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2 this is the same thing as 3 and we have that 2 to the power of 2 rho 3 to base 2 this also can be expressed as 2 to the power of rho 3 to the power of 2 this is the power so this is 3 to power 2 to base 2 so if you apply this logarithm property this means we have 3 squared which is equal to 9 then we have 2 to the power of 3 log 3 to base 2 this can be expressed as 2 to the power of log 3 to the power of 3 to base 2 this is a power so this implies here we have a value of 27 so this implies that if we sum up this 3 that is 3 plus 9 plus 27 this is supposed to give us a value of 39 from here so 3 plus 9 this is 12 plus 27 this should give us a value of 39 so 12 plus 27 this is equal to 39 which is equal to 39 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of t which is log 3 to base 2 satisfies the equation so can kind refer of the steps like this video and subscribe if you have alternative formulas country don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section See you in the next video.